Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 18th of 2022, well, it is titled the protostar within L1527. So what do we see here? Well, L1527 is the dark cloud, very young, about 100,000 years old, and is actually a site of star formation. Now, while this may not look like a dark cloud, we're actually referring to the dark disk of material in between here. We're looking really close to that dark disk with the James Webb Space Telescope. So as these two nebulae converge toward the center, the dark disk there is actually the location of a protostar. Now, even with the James Webb T Space Telescope and its infrared imaging, we cannot see through that dusty disk. It is far too dense to allow us to see within. But within there, a protostar is forming and perhaps also a planetary system. Now, as the star forms and we say a protostar, when does a protostar become a star? Well, this happens when it begins to produce its own energy. So once the star become the protostar becomes massive enough to fuse hydrogen into helium in its core, once it reaches the 10 million degree temperature needed for this to occur, it will become a star and then will eventually eat away at the rest of this nebula and burst out of that dusty cocoon in which it is presently located. But that will still take some time, and this may have been something like our own solar system forming many billions of years ago. Now, we also see the nebulae going out above and below the protostar, and those are that is material that is being expelled outward from this disk. And why just to the top and bottom? Well, the dusty disk itself is very dense. We can't see through it, but it's also harder for material to escape through it. So this gas and dust that are trying to escape and being expelled out of the system are going to take the easiest path that they can to get out of it, and that is perpendicular to the dusty disk of material. And seeing material expelled in jets like this is actually something quite common and often associated with star formation. We see these jets quite often as material is expelled outward perpendicular to the disk of formation. So this, again, could be something like our sun and solar system forming many billions of years ago. And here we get to see that process as it begins right now, although the final process will continue and we will never have be able to see the final product because it will still take thousands and hundreds, a hundred thousand years or so maybe for that star to actually emerge. So that was our picture of the day for November 18th of 2022. It was titled The Protostar Within L1527. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.